how to use a whiteboard in Google Meet. Using a whiteboard in Google Meet can be done simply by following these steps. First, sign into your Google Meet account and start a meeting. After that, click on this three dot icon, click on whiteboard or open a jam. Click on start a new whiteboard. This is our Google Meet whiteboard. Now, let's talk about the options available at the top of the whiteboard. Here is the button to undo. Here is the button to redo. And if we click here, you will find the zoom in and zoom out options. To change the background of the whiteboard, click on the Set Background button. Here, you can select a background, or you can click here to upload an image of your choice from your files that can be used as a background for this whiteboard. I will keep the white background. If you want to erase all the content on the whiteboard, then click on Clear Frame button. Now, for example, I want to write something, so I will click on this marker icon. Here you can select markers with a variety of thickness options. So I will select this one. I will keep the color black, but you can select different colors depending on what your background looks like. So for example, you can select green, red, blue, or black. To write on this whiteboard, simply hold the left button of your mouse and drag it the way you would want to write on the screen. For example, I will write this. If you want to erase something on the whiteboard, then click on the option of the eraser. Hold the left mouse button and erase the unwanted content. This arrow is a selection tool, so if you want to make your mouse pointer a selection tool, then click on it. And here you can see that it has become the selection tool. If you want to add a sticky note, then I will click on the sticky note option here, change the background color. For example, I will select this one and I will write lesson one. Finally, I will click on the Save button. After that, click anywhere outside of the sticky note window. Drag and move it on the whiteboard. We can also rotate it, or we can check more options by clicking here. We can edit, duplicate, or delete it. If you want to insert an image on the whiteboard, Click on the Insert Image option. I will upload an image from my desktop, so I will click on Browse button and I will double click on the image that I want to insert. Here you can see that the image is now inserted in the whiteboard. We can drag and move it with the help of the mouse. If you want to draw a circle on the whiteboard, Click on the circle icon, click on it and change the border color of the circle. You can fill the color inside the circle like this. You can also adjust the height or width of the circle. If you click on this three dot icon, then you can see the options to duplicate, delete and send it backward or send it to the back. If you want to insert a text box in the whiteboard, click on the text box icon. For example, I will write mathematics. Drag this box according to your requirements. You can change the text size by clicking here. You can select text size from largest to smallest. You can change the text color by clicking here and you can align the text. To highlight something on a whiteboard, 
the laser option is used. Click on this highlighter laser option. For example, to highlight this equation, hold the left button on the mouse, drag it like this. So here you can see that it's working like a laser. To go on the next whiteboard frame, click on this icon. This will create a second whiteboard frame. To go back, click here. And to share the whiteboard with other people, click on the share button. Type the email addresses here, get the link from here and share it with others so they can access the whiteboard. So this is how you use the whiteboard in Google Meet. If this helped you, please give it a like and let us know by commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe for more how-to instructional videos.